inside every hole in the body today. And next up is an orifice that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> so we're talking about nostrils, and as you may remember, Amber Sheree volunteered before the break very bravely. <laughs> it is very bravely, but this shouldn't be too bad. And this is what your ear, nose, and throat doctor would do on a routine ENT examination to evaluate your nose, your sinuses, your vocal cords. Okay, so what we've done for Amber Sheree first. We've numbed her down, we've shrunk down the internal membranes. Another Olympus scope, NBI. This is really great fiber optic technology. I have to admit, I did not have this when I did my ear, nose, and throat residency. So what, what do the nostrils do? What are the nares? Well, it's an air filter. It's like an air filter for your car. It's the first place we should be breathing primarily through our nose. So this is the first spot, first spot where everything is going to enter into your airway. So what does it want to do? It wants to pick up all that, that dirt, that grime, dust, pollen, things like that. It also moistens the air. Well, that's, and... the whole, that's the whole function of the nose. So what we're going to do, we're going to first start, we're going to gently go in, lean back just a little bit for me, good, and I stay low in her. So what are we seeing here right there? On, on the right is her nasal septum. Now these things that you're seeing on the left are her turbinates. Are you okay? So now we're back. You see she has a little bit of secretions. She's actually had a cold recently, right? You yes. all right? I'm good, okay. Next thing we're going to see is base of tongue. There we go. Hello. That epiglottis is that little trap door. That goes up when you swallow. You're seeing her vocal cords, her See, a lot of secretions. Swallow again. She's very good. Now say, say something, go ee. E see those vocal <laughs> You see those vocal cords now? <laughs> What's very cool with this device, there's a secondary. Let's get uh, a good view there. Yeah, I'm you're going to you change view. the view where you get a better view of the vascularity, OK? And look at that. That helps to different, differentiate tumor growth. I'm going to show those two views again. There you go. Uh, Versus. Can, can you give us one more? E. E. Oh, I love it. E. And, and what's cool is if you do differently, say ah. Ah. Oh, and as you. Oh. And, and take, <laughs> take, a, take a deep breath. You see how as you take a deep breath, the vocal cords open. Can you swallow? See that, that epiglottis popped up. And so right, if, if everyone can look at this screen really quickly, right in front here is where the esophagus is. That's the other pipe we talked about. So if that doesn't close properly and food or water gets down your, your trachea, that's when you get that nasty cough and everyone says, went down the wrong pipe. You've had a little bit of a cold. You've got some mucus in there. So yes. you know, we want you to gargle, clean that up, but everything, everything else looks good. Your vocal cords look good. I'm sorry, I know that. <laughs> now, did you, did you know what you were getting yourself into? <laughs> you know what, that, that's a, a worthwhile exam. Anyone who has a tendency for chronic nosebleeds, you have a constantly runny nose, constantly feel congested, or if you come to the emergency department with a bizarre, severe sore throat, we'll do this exam to make sure everything looks okay. Amber Shrey, thank you so thank very you. much.